welcome back in the next presentation of finding derivative by definition right uh, in previous video we had solved a problem same similar type of problem there was and we find out the derivative by the definition or you can say that by the first principle method that's almost same so uh, here now we are going to find out the derivative uh, the question is here we need to find out the derivative of 1 over x square right so here let me suppose we have a f uh, our function let y or you can say f of x that's 1 over x square right this is our function so I will suppose delta x is a small increment in x and delta y is also a small increment in y. So now my this equation, this y equals to one over uh, y equals to one over x square, will turn somehow like this. Y will be now equal with y plus delta y because a small increment has been done on y and one over again x plus delta x whole square, right? So in next step, what I can do? delta y I will put this side and rest of this everything I will put in the right side right it is x plus delta x whole square and minus y I told you already that generally we used to put delta y in the left side and rest of this everything everything will keep in the, our right side because finally we need to get as a delta y over the delta x and we'll take the limit that time delta x tends to zero so except delta y send everything into the right side and convert them into the form of x plus delta x right so I put 1 plus x plus delta x whole square minus y and here now what can I what can I do here this is y right so in the place of y I will use this value uh, I mean this this y equals to 1 minus x square so I can use now x plus delta x whole square minus 1 over x square so my equation is going to be like delta y equals to now see here I, I, I need to take the uh, LCM of this two right so I'll take the LCM of this part and this part and the LCM will be x plus delta x whole square times x square so when this quantity right will divide this whole quantity I'll be left with only this because this will cancel out this two x plus delta x and the x plus delta x will cancel out right and I'll be left with here only x square minus and then again when x square will divide this whole quantity this will be cancel out and I'll be left with x plus delta x whole square so x plus delta x whole square I hope you understand this step and delta y will be now equal with this is x square so I'm writing here x square minus c this is x plus delta x whole square I will treat it as a a plus b whole square and we know that a plus b whole square is a square plus 2 times a times b plus b square so I'm gonna write uh, first I will take in the bracket and then I'll uh, I will take it out this is in my bracket x square plus 2 times x times delta x over delta x all square my bracket is closed and then whole divided by I'll get x plus delta x whole square times x square and in the next step I can write delta y equals to now x square minus the minus we multiply this whole quantity so I'll get x square minus 2x delta x minus delta x whole square and then whole the variable I'll get x plus delta x whole square minus sorry it's not minus it's multiplication times x square now see what is going to be cancelled out over here yes here x square and x square will cancel out so what I'll get delta y will be equal with now see here delta x is also here and delta x is also here so I'm going to take out minus delta x common and I will get here 2x because this delta x has been taken out outside so I'll be left with 2x min uh, minus also had been taken out so 2x will be left and here it will be plus delta x and then whole divided by x plus delta x whole square times x squared now what is the step yes we need to divide by the delta x and we need to take limit as a delta x everywhere in all steps we need to do uh, means in all problem we have to do this step right so what I will write I'll write dividing by delta x and taking the limit as del delta x tends to 0 therefore I can write now limit delta x tends to 0 delta y over the delta x equals to now again limit delta x tends to 0 so this whole quantity will be divided by the delta x so first I'm dividing by the delta x times the whole quantity whatever I have and my quantity is here minus delta x in the bracket that is 2x plus delta x and then whole divided by x plus delta x 
all square it's not looking like x it is x actually right and then times x square now see here what is going to be cancelled out here delta x and delta x is cancelling out right and I'm left here with limit delta x tends to 0 delta y over the delta x is equal with now limit when delta x tends to 0 now you can easily insert the value of delta x tends to 0 so it will be minus 2 times x plus 0 and then whole divided by x plus 0 whole square times x square so limit delta x tends to 0 delta y over the delta x equals to now minus 2x over this x square and x square it will be x square times x square so what can I write uh, I can I can I can actually here x and this x will cancel out and I will be left x here this is 2x so only one will uh, one will be left here so I'll, I'll write minus 2 over x cube this will be my answer actually here right so my derivative is turning to simply I can write this is f of x or I can say uh, dy by dx or I can say limit delta x tends to 0 delta y over the delta x is going to be equal with minus 2 over x cube this is my answer so like this you need to solve this concept